Welcome back, folks, to Tales of Symphonia. Last time, we learned that Presia has a sister who is dead, and we're going to find a grave. Also, JG, what episode is it? Oh, uh, well, hold on, don't leave the screen, but I wanted to point out Maximilian von Fancy Pants over to the right there. He's like, oh, Lord Fancy Pants, who? I don't think we have to say anything to him, but, uh, Rain and Elven Woman. It's episode 69, guys! Woo! 69! Just, you know, cool number. So there you go. We made it. Roll we out the banner. Happen. Make sure we it has a 69 it. on it. 69. It's, it's all downhill from here. Were you both out here before? I know you're looking for someone, but far too many people pass by here. I can't remember them all. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Very good. Did we name you? So what were you saying earlier that uh, the robot girl, what were you saying about her? Apparently she has a sister by the name of Alicia. We had an interaction over here. Now we're going okay, to the so Lazarino it's, company. That's what I was going to say, which I might not have said last time, is she's my sister, slap. She's my daughter, slap. She's my sister, slap. She's my daughter, slap. <laughs> Who that's knows it. what the relations are with Presia just, just yet? Just wanted to reference Chinatown anytime you get a chance. Mm hmm. All right, can I, can I go to the company? A lot of rainbow will now depart. There we go, there's our Lazarino company. The lasagna company here. All right, let's get to talking to people. Hello, sir. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that here at the Lazarina company. Oh, yeah, also, Rain kind of fucking disappeared last time, in case you forgot. Lethal did. Yeah, he kind of did. The Elemental Railway will now depart. No, it won't. Go fuck yourself. This is my standby phrase. Welcome. Welcome. I've been the new. Welcome to the Lazarino Company. Fantastic. Out. Oh, the doors with an employee ID I may enter the upper floor. Well, we have one of those now. I'm sorry, but you don't have one of those. Uh, may I ask you a reason for visiting our company today? Uh, we were gonna go to the Sky Terrace. The fuck you are? I mean, uh, this is a George's. Uh, my deepest apologies. Uh, please uh, go inside, senor. That's right, bitch. I'm, I mean, thank you. I'm an offensive Italian stereotype. I don't even have a mustache like my partner off screen right. Oh my goodness, there's second floors, president's office. Let's go check out these other floors on our way to the terrace. You liar! I said you were going to the sky terrace! Hey, you can't see what button I pressed. Is that question appropriate? I'm afraid I don't know. What? He's not from HR, then. Uh -huh. Old jobs, no whether or not <laughs> Are you pregnant? Is that the question? <laughs> person who looks like a professor, I don't think she's been here at the Lazeno company. It's obvious when non-employees stop by, so there's no way I would have missed her. That's good. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Does one go to the same floors? Where's the button? Button? There it is. Like that fishbone uh, barrier that you could get your fingers chopped off in. This is the president's office. Do you have permission to be here? Ah, well, I guess you're here, so it must mean you've got permission. Oh, yeah, that that's how logic works. Mm-hmm. I think that's an aquarium over there. I thought it was a TV there for a second. Oh, my word. Are you the Presidente? It's the me, the president. May I help you? May I help you? Apparently not. Can you believe that all the Lazarino company is managed from this room? By half Italians and half people who sound like lethal? <laughs> a discussion that may take a place here that are far above okay. the heads of normal people like us and a lethal. A little short of people like a Toad and a Mario, not the taller people above our heads like a Luigi. Like a singular Luigi. <laughs> I mean, maybe he and uh, Princess uh, Daisy will get together someday, and he will no longer be singular Luigi. My God. It is episode 69, after all. It's got an Let's Elliot. talk about 69 as we visit a, a grave. What happened to you? You've turned into an LED. I stab you with this knife that What's JG this? just noticed. 
Uh, also, we have this Mythos guy that looks an awful lot like, uh, you know, Colette. It's very weird. Also, he has the same name of the hero of old, which is also weird. Hey, there's an X-Fear embedded here. Ah, oh, that was that is. Why is there an x -fear? I don't know. Maybe it thought it was pretty. That's all that's left of your sister after she was blown up by an effective x -fear. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> My god, that thing is talking to her. Alicia? And that voice comes out like four times a day, like, you know, always hoping she'll happen to be there. This time she just actually got lucky. Oh, I was going to go in a different direction, like it was one of those motion detected, like, uh, pamphlet <laughs> brochures this is where alicia rests thank you for visiting her grave it's like that old school late 60s thing where they'll just have like a faceless mannequin and there's a projector that will project an image of a face and then like a tinny speaker will be like hello i am a pilgrim of the 17th century in my day we farmed maize with the help of native americans <laughs> it's just like that it's exactly the same Wait, you were about to... Why would you... Never mind. Yeah, well, she's about to disappear. Limited time only. Also, your twin tails, not nearly as impressive as Precio's, but she's lived longer. That's how it works. What's going on? Precio's got Are a longer dress, too. They're just not twins at all. I... I exist only in the X-Sphere. Soon even my consciousness will be gone. Unfortunate. <laughs> the X-Sphere killed my body. Mmm. The church. They'll do that. And absorbed my consciousness. Hmm. I can't believe you've become a victim of the X Sphere as well. Uh, well he's pretty believable to me. That's all I'm saying. Like that's a, apparently a running theme with these. Prisaya, please grant me my request. Before I disappear, please find my master. Please find Master Brian. Uh -huh. Your uh, master. Okay. The master. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I wish to help him serve the will of Monos. Yes, by killing me. Dot, dot, dot. Alicia, he killed you? Please, tell me what happened. Please stop so disappearing. You've been, like, hanging out here transparent for, like, a hundred years. Can you not hold on, like, five more minutes? You're really dropping the ball at the, like, most important moment here. You know, it might be outside of her, outside of her control, maybe. It's like it's like Anakin Skywalker murders a million sand people and his mom like lives just long enough for him to show up so she can die. It's like, come on, Ma, pull it together another 10 minutes or die 10 minutes prior. This is silly. <laughs> You're being inconvenient, Mom. Please die. I don't know what the hell. At an appropriate time. Lloyd, please help me find Alicia's killer. Okay. So that I can thank him. Of course. We'll beat this Bryant guy to a pulp and drag him back here. Unless this is some kind of massive misunderstanding, as it almost certainly is. Beating him up, not really a, a it's like an eye for an eye is no good, so how about an eye for one quarter of an eye? Yeah, I won't let him get away with killing your sister. Thank you. What's wrong? Yeah, what are you doing, Mythos? x spheres are terrible things, aren't they? Well, they do kill people and apparently absorb their consciousness, which is the first we've heard of. The about. Second Amendment says we have unlimited rights to X spheres. There's nothing we can do. Of course. Which makes me think I mean, how long has she been here and how long has Lloyd's mother been dead? Is she still conscious inside that X sphere? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Gina. She is. Hey, time to go. Shut up, okay. you two. We got, we got monsters to kill. Yeah, we got to go we gotta punch Brian. Beat up some folks. That's a that's a really nice grave for one person up here. Oh, apparently they're fairly important. All right, so did, Brian. We, did we explore? Like there could be like super great treasures. Oh, isn't the other world gate going to open tonight? Man, I don't like thinking about that. It could suck us right over to the hellish land. Looks a camera of Silverant. Lloyd, did you hear that? What? I mean, yeah. Hey, excuse me. That otherworldly gate you were just talking about, uh, where is it? Oh, Corsica. Who the heck are you? 
I apologize. We'd like to go see the otherworldly gate. Would you be kind enough to tell us where it is? Oh, well, if you're looking for the otherworldly gate, it's to the east of the city across the sea. In Albania. Um, are there any landmarks? Well, there are huge rocks all over. Uh, you can't miss it. I mean, tonight's a full moon. Or, but tonight's a full moon. If the legend is true, then the gate will open and you'll be sucked into the world of Silveron. You don't want that. It's it's hellish. I wonder if rain is there. I don't know, but uh, it's the only clue we kind of have. Let's at least take a look. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go where the rocks are. So we still can't talk to President uh, Mario, huh? No, I don't think so. It doesn't seem Steve. like he's... I, I'm sure after we punch, uh, you know, Brian in the nuts, he will become relevant. I wonder what Rain wants to do with the otherworldly gate. I can't believe she left without even saying a word to me. Don't look so sad, you two. The professor, this is the professor we're talking about. She's probably just interested in that ruin and, you know, just had to go and see it for herself. So let's hurry up and catch her and tell her not to go off on her own like that. We're going to be wagging our finger. Yes, we should hurry. Yeah. I see, there you go. It's a simple but effective pep talk from the leader there. You know, I'm not good for a whole lot of things. Because I'm sort of dumb as a, you know, bag of rocks. And yes. Oh, I've heard bag of hammers, but yeah. Rocks, hammers, I think they're on the same intellectual wavelength. Yeah, they're, they have a approximately equal intelligence. All right. Probably spaceships just... We split into four and spontaneously have spaceships grown out of our asses. I just love it. Speaking of weird things, we... I don't think... Well, we learned about a Shining Bird before. It's just weird that it's at the top of the synopsis now. They were traveling to the world to see the Shining Bird and caught a glimpse of it. Lloyd and the others immediately... Uh, realized immediately that they uh, that they were talking about the summoned spirit of light. Okay, neat. They met. Oh Asuka. yeah, it was a long time ago. This all got raised, and it seemed like, oh, are we gonna get that as a transport at some point? It's like, no, it's a, it's a summoned spirit. All right. So, mm hmm. East of Altamira. Very good. On an island. I think I see that on the map. Looks a little bit like Sicily. <laughs> I think it's... No, you're other east. Sorry. I'm just getting reoriented. All right, that is the one with rocks, clearly. Yeah, yeah. We've been here Saw before. That and we're like, I wonder if that's going to matter. There we go. I found the, the landing spot. All right, so, hello. Oh, there we go. We have to approach it from the right angle. Correct angle. Professor. <laughs> you were here the whole time. How'd you get How did here? She get here? We probably took a riard herself. Here. Why do you think we're here? We were worried about you. We literally had to search the entire world for you. It shouldn't take long because there's like four places on this planet, but. Fellow half elf, I can't just leave you here by yourself. <laughs> this guy in his half elfism. Why yeah, he's got to get over it. Place? This is where Genus and I were abandoned. Hmm. All right. What are you talking about? You two are from Silveron. Or so but we've been told. Basket and floated down a river. No, I happened to catch sight of this place when we rescued Colette, and it's been on my mind ever since. Then, when I heard the story about the two poles which connect the two worlds, I became certain. The images in my Slept memory. Polenska and the ruin I've been searching for all this time. It. So what are you saying? Shut up. The two of you were born in Tepeala? I think that's exactly what she's saying. Or at least there's no... She didn't, she didn't really have a long pause there or anything. You just, you just kind of jumped in right on her line the, the way I just did the lethal without meaning to. It can't be. All my memories are of Isalia. I don't know this place at all. I refuse to accept the idea that things might have happened when I was too young to remember them. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, Mighty Washington's equivalent. Clearly, I remember everything. 
We yeah. were born and raised in the village of the elves, <laughs> from which we were eventually ostracized. Mm. We weren't elvish enough for them. We didn't worship the plants. And they were too elvish, because, no, no, it's not the village of half elves, it's the village of elves. It's, it's a good, yeah. Hmm. Our ears were, were not pointy enough. Because this place was said to be the path to the legendary Silveront. Home of mighty Washington. I just love the idea of our ears are pointy enough. I'm picturing them with a test with like paper. They're like slanging it onto the ear and it's not cutting it. And then they just crumple it up and say, get the fuck out of here. Because it's that, like, like, like Japanese foot binding or, you know, like, you know, they, they bound our ears and tried to shape them into pointiness, but it just didn't work. And <laughs> Or maybe they did that, but either way. The village of the elves? Secret village said to be off limits to anyone except Elvenkind? Barry, Pennsylvania, the sacred and mysterious village of the elves? I'm sure it's about as off limits to outsiders as you know that particular ninja village that we went to. Yes. I don't know the details of what happened. Quite us, the ninja village. That I was left here along with Genus when he was just a newborn. And we eventually ended up in Silveront. I mean, it is the other ruler gate. It makes sense that they get over there. Then this time, let me send you to hell instead. Excuse me? Am I supposed to know that name? Who's there? Ah. Uh. Oh, it's Coochie Koo. What are you talking about? Coochie oh Koo is a traitor? My parents' death has finally arrived. Hmm. Avenge your parents? Death. Correct. You will die for killing my parents, along with countless others of our village, when you fail to control Vault. Okay, okay so that got a point there. Yeah, yeah. So apparently you were madder than was indicated. Oh, okay. What? What? That was what? an accident. Why are you doing this now? Because I'm unreasonable. <laughs> accident? I could have accepted things if she just failed to make a pact with a summon spirit. Uh huh. She really failed to make a pact with the summon spirit. But then, she failed to assassinate the Chosen of Silveront, thereby placing Mizuhu in danger. Uh huh. Yet look at her now. She's made pacts with summon spirits just like that. Just see, like that. She, she failed to kill people I wanted her to kill, and instead ended up killing people I didn't want her to kill. So the killing isn't the problem. It's uh, the wrong people got killed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have it all wrong. I mean, it's not all wrong. Do I? I think she wasn't really trying during the first pack making. No. It's all cunning ruse to blow up your parents. How does he know? Because of that, she killed my parents and our people. I mean, your I did people. The best I could. I... Enough excuses. Sometimes now we when will you're do guilty about something that you shouldn't, having someone be angry at you is nice because it makes you defensive. <laughs> I am forgetting what buttons do what because it's been two weeks. I know, I'm also hitting Turtles buttons, to be honest. <laughs> Erupting, burning finger! Ben's down actually seems to be working, which is nice. That's good. Basically stun locked this jerk. Right, Goldman. There you go. Come on, jab jabronis, get the fuck out of here. Is it just me or were there like four times as many guards in the cinema scene as there are in the fight? They uh they did one of those reverse piccolo fusions, or I guess just a regular piccolo fusion to combine their powers since we're so strong. Also make some curry for us. Because you said so nicely. Ah, more of them. Jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. There's too many of them. Is On there? The degree rule, we don't give a fuck. Kuchinawa, please. Don't drag them into this. We'll murder them. Jumayu. I'm the one you despise, right? Then I'm the only one you need to kill. No, now I know the brothers are a bunch of half elves. Sheena, stop talking like that. Talk with an Italian accent instead. Kuchinawa. It's okay. A Kuchikawa, a Kuchiku. A oh, please. Oh, please come and murder me and not my friends. Oh, is it going to be a one on one battle? Oh, that might not be good. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, moon the moon beam? is sending us a laser beam. Sailor Moon is gonna teach us about love and justice. Oh, we're about to. Oh, we're all gonna get sucked to the planet Silverant. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me! Enough of this, Sheena. Boy, ah! come on! Everybody, into the gate! All right, Tallahassee people to Silverant. Silverant people, stay in Tallahassee. Nope, everyone's going, even Mythos. What about Gucci Bucci? Damn! Guardian signature trail disappeared. They've escaped into Silverant. The excuse me, what disappeared? The Guardian, Guardian signature? signature trail, of course. Come on, Lethal. How could you not know about the Guardian signature trail? Huh. So I'm like, he should be fine. It's like, oh no, they've escaped into a place I have been raised to believe is pure hell. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Where are we? Well, Regal, if you've been paying attention, you know. Uh, the Probably handcuffs are cutting off the Costa. blood to his brain. We're back in Silverant? Yes, Colin. Man, I never wanted to come back here. I mean, I never wanted to. The mana level seems to have risen, but it's definitely Silverant. <laughs> the mana level. Like it's a oh, I don't believe in climate change. That's hubris. Oh, man, I never thought I'd wind up coming over to this side like that. Believe it. I thought I'd be straight for my entire life, but I've switched sides. Zealous, why did you butt in? Excuse me? Don't tell me you actually wanted to die back there. You don't believe that she could kick his ass? Well... I mean, she, she hasn't proven herself to be really effective by herself in the past, I understand. Besides, those guys would have come after us regardless of a robot of squirrel. Died. Pope's orders and all. Are you saying Kuchinawa is working for the Pope? I mean, he had those papal guardsmen with him. It's likely. Those assassins he had with him were the Pope's men, weren't they? I'm glad someone's paying attention. I'm certain of it. <laughs> Good. At you least you're paying attention for that. All over them. <laughs> they smelled papally. <laughs> yes, they had that new Pope smell. Gina, please don't do something like that again. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Looks wishly all about the deployed. <laughs> Nothing good will come of you sacrificing your life. Well, maybe in her case. Well, that's absolutely right. You should thank Zelos, Sheena. Th thanks. Come on now. Would it hurt you to give me a kiss or two? Yes. Let me cop a feel. Zelos, you're horrible. Ooh. Ouch. But what are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, our our mythos, who we just brought along for no apparent reason. It's right. funny they just kind of like came along on this. Well, since we're back in Silverunt, why don't we find out what the designs are up to? Designs? We haven't talked about them for a while. What about yeah, I'm checking me? on those chuckle, chuckle fucks. I mean, he already jumped into the portal because he wanted to be popular like us, so he's part of it. He's already drug. You know, Mythos is really the uh, robot with a scarf from Super Show Monster Story of this game, and if you understand that reference, good for you. I do not. <laughs> yeah. Neil, huh? He just he shows up and acts like he's the main character, but he's not playable. It's like, why are you wandering around acting like you're the main character? I mean, I want to fight too. Yeah, I want I want to fight too. Oh, maybe now he is fighting. Hey, this journey is dangerous, even if you had an X fear. I do. I stole one from the grave of that girl's sister. I appreciate your sentiment, though. I suppose you're right. I understand. Looks sad. Kicks rock. Rock has a trail trace. It's not like you to make around like that. I'm certainly not looking for you to cheer me up. There you go. That's the spirit. That coochie coochie. Well, well, don't give him too hard a time now. Just leave me alone. I hate traitors more than anything else. Oh, scary, scary. There's nothing worse than a hysteric woman. Would you please leave me alone? You should stop and consider who betrayed whom first, don't you think? What did you just say? Oh, oh retreat, retreat! I, I... I, I... I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Coochie Coochie played Sheena on a personal level? He's I mean, kinda... it's He's a little thing oh. where your parents got murdered. Well, not really murdered. They died. Wait for it. Oh, it's Neil, uh, chosen one. Lloyd, how is the journey to release the seals going? Oh, well, actually, uh, everything's going well. Anyway, I was just wondering if you could take care of this guy for a while. Mm, I certainly don't mind, but who is he? Uh... He's traveling with us for the moment, but we're heading to an area that is too dangerous for him. Are you heading to the Palmacosta Ranch? What? What are you talking about? That was destroyed. Oh, you're not. We've recently received reports that the Zions are wandering. Inside the ruins of the ranch, we've increased our security. I wonder if Magnus came back! That would depend on who he is. I don't know if it's related, but there are also reports that the Zions are attacking the sea route between Izuld and the Palma Costa. They seem to be constructing some sort of giant infrastructure on the ocean floor. All right, that's cool. How the fuck do you know this? Do you have some sort of, like, ocean scope? Their off-island human ranch is located in that region. <laughs> Looks over at Rain. How would you know this? Of course. I mean, this is similar to the God Trail, what the fuck ever, from Gucci uh, <laughs> Gucci. Yep. I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe it's the mana cannon that Rodile was building. You know, Dr. Wiley. Well, if you look, if you're worried about it, why don't we do take a look, eh? Yeah, even if it's not the mana cannon, this city will become the next Luin if the Palma Costa Ranch is operational again. All right, well, let's check out this old Palma Costa Ranch, shall we? Do it on our way to the Weezand of Kados. Well, it seems our plans are set. We'll come back for Mintos later. Yeah, fun kiddo. Good looking. We'll come back for you later. I see. I understand. <laughs> I hope you don't eat much because I don't want to go to the store. Genus, be careful. And Rain and Lloyd and everyone else too. But mostly Genus. Yeah, well, just wait here for a little while. Is that okay, Mythos? And Neil is like, wait, Mythos, what the fuck? <laughs> sure. Genus, please take this with you. And then he kicks him in the nuts. What's this? It's a memento of my sister who passed away. Oh, I can't take that. It's too heavy. I don't have inventory space. If you find yourself in danger, play it. I don't know what it can do, but it may just be able to save you. Okay, thank you. I promise I'll come back and return it to you. Mythos is pan Car. Four. You got pan uh, Mythos's Game Boy. You will play it if you are ever in danger. Hey. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Neil? You alright? We'll take good care of him. Please be careful. So nice that we can just, you know, park this gentleman with this gentleman. Last time we were here, we were facing, like, fake daughters who are actually weird demons, so things have cheered mm -hmm. up a bit. Just a little bit. Does that dog have a name? It does not. Oh, this one is Pepe! Pepe, Pepe, Pepe! One of them rare Pepes! Rare Pepe. <laughs> That's a mutation that gives it extra evasion. <laughs> and also extra toes. But anyway. Oh, the same difference. The more toes you have, the more nimble you are, of course. That's how it works. Now, if I remember correctly, and Lethal never forgets, he's like an elephant that way. 
there should be a uh, store human in there. Ranch. Human there. ranch goodness. Oh, yeah, there was some kind of store. Oh, yeah, good call. There's a su super secret store that refused to open. I'm going to laugh if it still is no, but I'm all, listen here, you piece of shit. We it's went like, to we'll be open in the sequel. Game Boy Advance version. Our we store will be ready to go. Uh-huh. I swear Fuck. to fucking... We went to another fucking dimension, and you're still not open? <laughs> well, tomorrow. I, Last time it was two days away. Now it's tomorrow. I got my I got my wish. <laughs> tomorrow is always a day away. It'll be terrible if Papa Costa's human ranch is rebuilt. Yes, they'll try to attack the city again and kill more innocent people. And make more X Fears. X Fear manufacture. I'd heard the stories, but human ranches are an abomination. Yeah, I don't want to see any more people get killed for the sake of x -fears. No. Indeed. There must be no more victims like Alicia, who I clearly know. Never again. Not ever again. Next time! Never. No, never. Not never. Hardly ever. There's hardly ever many more x victims. <laughs> Next time, we'll make sure that no more x victims uh, apparently happen. We'll see you then, folks. Bye.